Our next assignment will be implementing Fermat's primality test in uh, Python. Uh, these are the uh, four learning objectives very quickly. And uh, let's uh, start with some uh, background. Uh, Fermat's little uh, theorem uh, after Pierre de Fermat, uh, uh, the French mathematician of the 17th century. And uh, uh, the theorem uh, states this. Uh, so it's uh, uh, came to be known in uh, uh, number theory as Fermat's little uh, theorem. So the statement of the theorem is uh, as follows. If n is a prime number, prime numbers are uh, integers greater than uh, 1 uh, that are divisible only by 1 and uh, themselves. So two divisors, one and uh, n itself. And um, a is a positive integer, integer less than n. Then um, a to the n modulo n, so the remainder of a to the n when divided by n, is equal to a modulo n. So mathematically, another way to say this mathematically is that uh, a to the n and a are congruent modulo n. So here's an example. Let's um, um, consider n to be uh, 2. Right? 2 is a prime number. It's the first prime number. So then a can only be 1. Right? Then 1 to the second modulo 2 is equal to 1. So let me grab a different color. Um, okay, and state that in uh, Python. Um, so first I'll state it in black and then I'll grab a different color and um, outline this. Um, so 1 to the 2 modulo 2. So this is, let me, all right, so this is in, in green. So this is a Python way of uh, stating the same, making the same statement. Okay, let's uh, do another example just to give you a better feel for how this theorem works. n equals 3, then a is a positive integer less than 3, which means that a can be either 1 or 2. So 1 to the third modulo 3 is equal to 1. So this is the Python way of stating the same. One to the third modulo three is equal to one. Okay. Oh, it should be okay. In the previous statement, it should be one uh, asterisk asterisk three modulo. Um, uh, modulo modulo uh, three is equal to. Um, uh, one. Um, um, okay, two um, uh, to the third modulo three is equal to uh, two. So a couple of a uh, couple more examples. N equals five. Then a can be one, two, three, or four. So we can check this 1 uh, to the 5th modulo 5th is equal to 1. 2 to the 5th modulo 5th is equal to, um, sorry, 2. 2. Uh, 3 to the 5th modulo 5th, uh, modulo 5 is equal to 3. Uh, 4 to the 5 modulo uh, 
5 is equal to 4. Okay, so uh, this theorem uh, can be used uh, to um, uh, check if a, a given number n is prime. So given a number n, we want to test if n is prime. And there are four steps to it. So first, uh, pick a random number A. A positive integer less than or equal to n. So in this interval, from 1 to n minus 1. Step um, number two, check if a to the n modulo n is equal to a. So this is step number two. And uh, number three, if yes, return true. If not, if Fermat's uh, test returns no, then return false. And we can apply uh, this primarily test uh, to a given number multiple times, right? Because every time we choose A randomly, so, um, and obviously, the more we apply this test, um, this is core principle of probabilistic algorithms. Uh, the more you apply the probabilistic uh, algorithm, uh, some probabilistic algorithm, the better mm, um, you are, right? So uh, the greater the probability that uh, the result is actually uh, correct. So we're going to apply, we can apply this test, let's say, 10 times, uh, generate 10 uh, random numbers, a uh, 100 times, uh, 1,000 times, and so forth. So what's the application domain um, of uh, uh, Fermat's primality test? Um, it turns out uh, that it's uh, encryption. This is a very, very useful uh, thing in uh, encrypting uh, data messages, uh, making sure that uh, they are secure. So, for example, if we have a 200-digit number using uh, Fermat's primarily test, probabilistic uh, primarily test, uh, we can uh, we can check whether the number is prime um, in a matter of seconds. And um, uh, this is um, uh, one of the uh, key components uh, behind the RSA encryption algorithm. So uh, this is a great example of uh, something that uh, used to be considered uh, pure and non-applicable uh, a couple of centuries ago. I'm talking about number theory and testing for primarity. And now every encrypted uh, data uh, transfer in the world uh, cannot do without it. Now, uh, there are um, numbers that can fool um, uh, a Fermat's primarity test. Uh, they're the so-called Carmichael numbers. One of such numbers um, is uh, 561. So they can fool uh, from us primarily tests, but they are very, very rare. So, okay, so these are the two functions that you will have to implement. Uh, the first is Fermat prime, that takes a number and the number of trials, and um, uh, executes for Mars primarily test um, the specified number of trials. So uh, check uh, tests if two uh, is uh, a prime ten times. So is for prime eight ten times. So this is false. 
his firma prime 17 it's tested 200 times so this is true so the first is the number uh, that you want to test for primarity and the second is the number of trials and the second function that you will need to implement is find firma primes uh, the first argument is a list of numbers and this has to be implemented recursively uh, find from our primes so it goes through the list of numbers and the second num number is the uh, number of trials and finds all of the prime numbers by applying is for my prime and the second uh, argument is the number of trials uh, the number of trials the second argument to is for my prime now you will need to uh, do a random number generation in Python so here is uh, how you do it. You can import a random module, seed it. So there is a function that seeds the random number generation, uh, a generator with the current system time. And then um, one of the useful methods in that module is randint that returns an integer in the interval a, b. So let's say 1 and 10. So here is a random 3, a random 110, so the second random number in that integer, and so forth. So happy hacking!